Hello, uh, in the security, uh, in the mathematics, we are doing the law of probability. And the final outcome will be uh, the total probability of an event lies always between 0 and 1. <coughs> in this activity, we are simulating the uh, double dice throw. We are taking square cutouts. Uh, <coughs> in this cutout, uh, one portion uh, tells us about uh, the okay. outcome of one dice and the other portion tells us of the outcome for the second dice. <coughs> there are total uh, 36 outcomes <coughs> and uh, we will do the probability by taking uh, one card at a time, one of these square at a time and record the probability uh, in a tabular form. <coughs> these are all the outcomes of the event. Uh, these are all the outcomes for events. For example, we have taken this one outcome, 1 and 3. So, we will see where it lies. It lies here. Uh, on the first dice, it says 1 and on the second dice, it says 3. And we will check if the sum of these two is greater than or equal to 9, which is not, therefore we will proceed to the next one. The sum of these two is less than or equal to 5. So, we have a tick here. This is a positive outcome for us and it doesn't equal to 7. So we uh, do not take there. And <clears throat> the last thing we have taken is odd on yellow and even on green. So this is odd for both. So this is also not a favorable outcome. And by this process, repeating it for 36 times, we have recorded all the observations. And then we will proceed calculating the probability. <coughs> the probability for any event is the uh, number of favorable outcomes for that event divided by uh, total number of <coughs> outcomes and by this counting all these favorable outcomes we are able to conclusion that the probability for some of both the outcomes greater than equal to 9 is 5 upon 12 and so on all these events and from these we can conclude that probability for any event will always be between 0 and 1.